Greetings and a big God bless you. And just to remind you that each and every day, the Lord daily loads us with His benefits. May that be true in your life today. May you see the Lord loading you with His benefits today in, in whatever way He chooses for you. This week, we're talking about the potter and the clay based on Jeremiah the 18th chapter, verses 1 through 6. And uh, we are drawing some insights that would encourage our hearts as we journey with God in life. Today, I want to talk to us about the potter's working. You see, as the potter takes that lump of clay and puts it on the potter's wheel, he gets his hands dirty. He gets involved in the process. He starts spinning the wheel. So he starts slowly and the potter's wheel starts going faster and faster. There are times this, the wheel is spun round and round at different speeds. He begins to add the moisture, water, to the lump of clay. Several times, back and forth, dips his hand to the moisture, touches the clay. And he begins to work on the clay, shaping it into the kind of vessel he wants it to be. And he goes over this process. It takes time. Initially, when the lump of clay is put on the potter, I can imagine people are watching and they don't know what the potter is going to do. But the potter's vision is very clear. He knows what he's going to do. And he begins to shape it. And even as he starts shaping it, people who are watching may not understand fully what the final result is going to look like. Potter knows. As he adds water, as he adds different things, as he, as he spins the wheel at various speeds and gets his hands into the clay, slowly and surely, we can see the shape being coming through and the lump of clay being fashioned. This is the potter's working. So in our lives, God is at work. He primarily works in us by His Word, by the Holy Spirit, through people that He brings into our lives, and through the opportunities of, in life that He lets us go through, the, that He places and brings into our lives. So God is at work. But can you see the handiwork of God in your life? Can you see how God is working in you by His Word as you listen to His Word and as He begins to reveal spiritual truth little by little, line upon line, He's working in your life? Can you recognize God's working in you by His Holy Spirit as the Holy Spirit is unveiling spiritual truth, as the Holy Spirit sometimes convicts you, sometimes corrects you, sometimes motivates you, sometimes inspires you, and all these other different aspects of the Holy Spirit working in your life, empowering you, giving you strength. The Holy Spirit's at work. That's the potter shaping you. Can you see, can you recognize God's working in your life as He brings different individuals in your life and they say and they do things that encourage you, that motivate you? And it doesn't happen by accident. There is an intentional purpose of God. In the various individuals that He's brought into your life, God is at work. He's shaping the vessel. He's molding you. Do you recognize God's working uh, through the various situations of life that you journey through and how various aspects of your character have been molded and shaped through life, real life situations as you learn to depend on the Word and the Spirit and the encouragement of people? What is the potter doing? You are on His wheel and He is taking you through His working. God is at work in your life. The Bible tells us that God is at work in us, both to will and to do of His good pleasure. Celebrate God's working in your life. Let's pray. Father, we acknowledge that each and every day, through small ways, through big ways, sometimes through ways that even we overlook, you are at work in our lives. We thank you for your working. You are the potter. We are the clay. Thank you for working in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.